Okay, in today's video, we're going to see if a 16 year old computer can uh, stream videos like on YouTube and go on a modern website without having problems like uh, using too much CPU power, being too slow or whatever. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the uh, Dell Precision T3500. This they came out in 2009, along with the Precision T5500 and also the Precision T7500. However, um, CPUs were added to this uh, series of computer. I think this is a Sabertooth X56 chipset. So this would be in the same class as a i7-920, i7-960, and basically in the, for the first generation of Core i processors. But uh, newer uh, CPUs were added, especially for the Xeons, which uh, this uh, computer, these series of computer computers use. So the one I'll be testing first is this one with a Xeon W3680, 3.33 gigahertz hexa-core processor released in 2010. That's the first quarter of 2010. Um, video card I have in here is pretty crappy. It's a NVIDIA Quattro NVS295. The reason why I have a crappy video card in here is because that computer is just being used as a server. So I do, I'm not using it as a desktop computer, it's just being used as a file server. And this only has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which which is still pretty, which is still enough, I guess, in this day and age. And um, I have a Dell Precision T5500. This one has two Xeon X5675 3.06 gigahertz processors. And it has a GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte video card. This is fairly modern. Has about 36 gigabytes of DDR3 ECC. I use this computer for as a file server, as a server, and I also use it for other reasons, other purposes as well, like video editing and uh, compiling stuff as well. So let's take a look at the first one, which is the Dell Precision T3500. So this is a video card that's in it, which is the NVIDIA Quattro NVS295. This has 256 gigabytes of video RAM. Here is the processor, which is a Xeon W3680 hexa-core processor at 3.33 gigahertz and as you can see it has a uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM so we're gonna see something else uh, how the CPU uh, performs if it gets stressed out though so this is a video um, we're going to test it at 720p, see how well this does. CPU is not really uh, struggling or anything, as you can see. The percentage of CPU use is pretty low. However, this is having massive difficulties trying to play this video because of the fact that I have a very crappy graphics card in here. As you can see, there's so many drop frames, this is almost not playable. Let's see if I can play it at a lower resolution. Let's see at uh, maybe 640 by 360. Is that, would that be able to do that? Even at that low resolution, it's having problems, as you can see. Still not playable. How about uh, something lower, like 320 by 144? 
wow, this is not good. It's really not able to pull this off. But let's see how much CPU. Okay, the bottleneck isn't the CPU, it's a graphics card. So I'm pretty sure if I put a better graphics card in here, it wouldn't have a problem. And I'll demonstrate that with the next one. So uh, here's the thing. Here's a website. This website uh, is pretty demanding. Let's see how much CPU power this uses. Me navigating on this website. Well, that's pretty high. That is uh, about 75% there. But it's going down. But I want to see what the performance is. And I want to open multiple websites as well. Okay, I got multiple websites open. Okay, it's not really struggling. It's not using a hundred percent right now. It's not even using fifty percent. So it's able to handle it. No problem with websites. Like navigating through websites, not a not an issue. It is a bit sluggish. So let's test out um, the next one, which is a Dell Precision T5500. This one has 36 gigabytes of DDR3 ECC RAM. Running Windows 11 Pro. Here's the processor. It has two X5675 processors in there. Hexacore, so that's 12 cores times 2, that's with hyper threading, so that's 20, that should be 24 cores, along with the virtual cores. And here's the video card, which is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte. Now let's see how well this does. I'm going to see the CPU performance as well. This is at running at 1080p at 60 frames per second. You can see zero drop frames. It's running perfectly. No problems whatsoever. I think having a much better graphics card and a and two processors actually helps this out. But I think the main reason is that this computer has a much better graphics card, which is the GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte processor. No problems. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see how much CPU processor is being used. Not bad. It's about maybe 15%. Not not bad. And I can go to a website, which I have no problems with. Open up another website. And another website. 
you how much CPU power is being used here. about 25% here and then it drops off again. It's oscillating around maybe 15 to 25%, not bad. And while I'm running a video as well, I'm doing all this. And still no drop frames, as you can see. And if I don't play the video, then it goes down. No problems. No problems at all. Hovers around maybe 10%. Less than that. Okay, so this computer does not have any problems. And technically, this is a 16-year-old computer because it was released in 2009. But the processor that is being used in it was uh, released in 2011. So I can safely say this is a 14 year old computer and uh, there's no problems running uh, uh, anything with this computer. If you, even if you are running multiple applications or websites uh, running many different things, this computer does not have a problem. This 14 year old computer can do everything but this one is struggling because it has a crappy video card so the video card for this has let's see in terms of memory twenty two times less memory okay in terms of just memory and um this is a good processor, by the way. And it shouldn't have any, if I put in, let's say, a GeForce GTX 1060, the same one, I'm sure it wouldn't have any problems uh, playing videos at 1080p or anything like that. So this is, uh, this is my take on, uh, I mean, this proves my point that um, you could use a technically a 16 year old computer uh, running modern uh, going on modern websites and browsing the internet and streaming videos as long as you have the appropriate hardware like a more modern GPU CPU GPU and enough RAM so you're able to do that so that's what I want to show you today if you have any thoughts or questions please leave it in the comment section below and thank you for watching